Father, I thank you, Lord, that it's your anointing that breaks the yoke. I thank you, God, that right now hope is rising up in all of us. Hope is rising up. I thank you, Lord, that faith is rising up, that we don't even need a lot. The Bible says we just need a little tiny bit of faith, like a mustard seed. That's all we need. So I just speak to the faith in you right now. And I say blossom. I say June bloom. I say come alive. I command that faith right now to stir up. You might even pray in the spirit right now for a moment and build yourself up on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. I thank you, Father God, that we have not lost ground. I'm telling the enemy to shush, shut up, talk to the hand, be quiet, get behind us, because we are moving forward in our destiny, and we are never looking back. We are only looking forward. The best is yet to come. And I thank you, Father God, it's going to be the summer of fun, not arduous work, but the summer of fun, not the summer of flesh, because we know that flesh isn't all that fun, but a true summer of fun where we are dedicated, where we are disciplined, but in a good way, where we're enjoying our life. So I thank you, Father, for a recalibration right now, a realignment in the spirit. Lord, give us a new resolve. I feel like some of us have been dampened. So I'm just rebuking that and casting that off now in Jesus' mighty name. Any little bit of heaviness, any bit of weight, any dampening, that has got to go and break off now. I thank you, Lord, for a new resolve, a new strength, a new hunger, a new tenacity to rise up now in all of us, a new desire to run our race. I thank you, Lord, that just like runners, they, they tap into, um, when you're running and you start to get tired, you, you have to kind of tap into that reserve fuel. So I thank you, Lord, right now by the spirit that we are all uncorking that reserve right now. We think we're weary. We felt a little bit weary, but all of a sudden we're tapping into that place and whew, here comes our second wind, our Holy Spirit wind, our second wind. Not by power, not by might, but by my spirit, saith the Lord. Mm. Mm. Not by power, not by might, but by my spirit, saith the Lord. Less is more. Less is more. Do less, but receive more. Stress less and receive more. Yeah. Yeah. So I got a prophetic word for you, for us, for all of us. Whew, it really spoke to me. So I pray that it speaks to you as well. So here it is. Here's your word. Don't look back, loves. There is nothing behind, only before you. No, you have not lost ground. Do you not know that all things work together for your good? And I am in all things, even what you perceive as your setback. No, not a setback, but a get back. Get back up and run your race. It is only with me that you set your pace. Now I got a powerful revelation about that, which I'm gonna come back to. Get back up and run your race. It is only with me that you set your pace. For I am with thee, love, you are not alone. I will not let you fall behind. Set your heart and set your mind on that which is above, on that which is real. For it is there and there alone that you will heal. The worldly fair, nothing for thee there. To enjoy, I grant you that, but a trap, a snare, for all who care for the things of your world before and above mine. A ploy from him to steal thine time. Reset your heart, reset your clock, running to and fro, it now must stop. Be slow, be still, be slow. Be still, be slow, be still. Everything you seek and desire will not come from toiling, but from stillness. Leave the stress, the state of duress, and settle into my rest. I stand at the door and knock. Open the door of your heart, your life, and suck with me. I will impart to you a divine strategy. My direction for thee now, be still and know that I am God. There you will see all that I have in store for thee. The Spirit of the Lord. Mm. Get back up and run your race. It is only with me that you set your pace. So when that 
when that line came forth by the spirit, right away I thought, pace setter, pace setter, what even is that? I had an inkling of an understanding, but I didn't know. So of course I had to go and start Googling and find out what a pace setter is. Some of you might know this, some of you that are runners, I've never really run a marathon or a race uh, like that. So I wasn't really familiar, but what they do is in a race, if, if I'm trying to run and break a record, you have someone called a pace setter who's not officially running the race, but they run with you and they set a pace for you to stay in time with them so you can break your record. And once you get your pace and get your groove and you're running, they drop off because it's not their race to win, it's your race. Come on, somebody, come on. So this is what the Spirit of the Lord spoke. He said, get back up and run your race. It is only with me who sets your pace. We have a personal pace setter. My pace setter is running for my pace according to what God's called me to do to break my record. You're not competing with me. I'm not competing with you. We are not competing with one another. I'm running my own race and my personal pace setter knows what pace to set for me. And your personal pace setter knows what pace to set for you. So my friends, you're not alone. God is right there. So even if it feels like you've fallen back, he's saying, get up, get up. I'm right here. I'm going to set the pace now. I'm going to set the pace. So get in step with me. I'm setting your pace. I'm going to get you back in your stride, back in your groove. And then before you know it, I'm just not there and you're back, you're back in full force.